The Michiana Performing and Adaptive Arts Community, or IMPACT, is making dreams come true for people of all abilities. IMPACT was formed um, from a dream of mine. I, I'm the founding uh, member of the organization as well as the executive director based on the last 12 years of my life and the work that I've been doing. So I'm a professional musician and entertainer from this community and in my work of doing original music and traveling all over I would meet families with individuals with different abilities that wanted to be on stage. And yet, as I would get to know their, their stories, there wasn't really any opportunity for them to get out and perform, uh, and let alone get the training in order to do it. So as I would collect this information, and I'm out there doing my life's work and my passion, I couldn't help but think, what if we, if we had this availability for everyone? It never even occurred to me that somebody with Down syndrome might want to be on stage. I don't know why it didn't occur to me, but it didn't. So as somebody that has worked in special education and as an educator and worked in music and all these things, if it didn't occur to me, how many other people out there did it not occur to? The expectations for people with disabilities is quite low. And what we're trying to do is raise those expectations. What we find consistently is that just like any other child, these kids are talented, they're motivated, they're creative. It's just a matter of unlocking that potential. Veronica Go is just one of many students at Impact with a passion for Taylor Swift and an even bigger passion for music. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan actually because music inspires for me. I really love music. I grew up with it. Uh, I was a kid, so I love music a lot. She's been uh, performing all the time, basically. I mean, uh, she's been singing since, literally, <laughs> since she was able to talk, which is about four, three or four. Because we are 15, somebody tells you they love you, can't believe them. Because we are 15, don't forget to look before you fall. Count to ten, check it in. Then it's time a warrior we're gonna be. Can't swim your 15. Impact makes learning possible by using adaptive methods to expand the possibilities. The methods that we use for teach are adaptive methods, meaning we'll take a traditional instrument, but we might have to lay it flat instead of up on its side like it's traditionally played. We also create adaptive devices for individuals who maybe even were born with a disability or uh, missing fingers or missing hand or even if, if uh, a condition like cerebral palsy where you have all of your, your body parts but they might be formed or constricted in certain ways. So then we're able to take um, the innovation and 3D technology and with some engineering help from uh, friends in the community and create adaptive devices. The pillars of our education are relationship-based education and adaptive modality. It's a lot like um, lessons for neurotypical people except we sometimes maybe have to be a little bit slower or we have to find alternative methods um, whether it be through visuals or games or um, any, any number of different little variations on, on um, techniques that you would see normally um, you know, around many other music schools. Jada is the best teacher ever we had and she worked really hard with um, Guitar Water too. Uh, and then voice and theater and we work to, all together with her. She's fantastic. The joy that I see on faces that as they walk in the door is probably the best summary of how I think our students feel. Um, you can't mistake a person's smile and the joy that they have in their heart. So, but some of the things that my students tell me and I hear them tell the other teachers is, we, we hear, I love you a lot. Um, that, that sounds to me like there's a trusted relationship between us. 
Um, and I also hear, this is my school. That's another phrase that I hear a lot. This is my school. So there's that ownership of this is my place, it's for me, it's built for me, and I'm going to take that opportunity and wear it with pride. So I believe um, our students feel safe, accepted, loved, and challenged here. I think it makes them feel great. Um, and I think it's a place where they feel safe and they can come and feel welcome and learn in a way that a lot of other places maybe don't meet their needs quite as well. The work that Impact is doing, uh, performing in adaptive arts, is life-changing. And it's not just about teaching people how to play guitar. It is important that this is a personal form of expression that we are connecting people with. So they walk away with another skill set, another form of expression, another way of loving and expressing themselves. And we just really want to raise awareness that when you see a person on stage with Down syndrome or autism or whatever label that they may have, next to someone that doesn't have that label and they're performing, all of a sudden, sudden there's this transformation that happens that I'm no longer a person with Down syndrome, I'm a guitar player. I'm a drummer, I'm, a, I'm an artist, I'm a singer, a dancer, whatever it is. So when we start looking at that transformation, if we can do that through music, I think the challenge is to figure out how to do it in all aspects of life.